At Kingsbury High School, the hoop houses were full of activity. While some students cleaned out garden beds, others were planting greens and herbs. Teacher Michael Gong said the gardens were a valuable teaching tool. So we've had opportunities to immediately um, pause what we were doing in the classroom, come out here, observe, say this is that type of food that we were discussing. This is the macromolecule, the food, the carbohydrate, the protein, um, even the fat in some cases with plants that are growing. Um, they can see that those things that they see on a nutrition label actually come from a real living organism. I learned that you can grow peanuts underground. I did not think that you could do that. When these gardens are ready to yield their crops, students working the plots get first crack at what they've grown. Whatever they don't want goes to the school kitchen and is used to feed the rest of the students. The food is also shared with the nearby Kingsbury community. Whoa, that's huge! Across town, it was harvest day at the Richland Elementary School Gardens. There were carrots, tomatoes, radishes, and even okra, all grown by the students. And when the harvest was finished, it was tasting time. They said, gee, I didn't know that salad came from the earth. And I said, well, where did you think salad came from? And they said, Kroger. These third graders will never look at a salad the same way. For SDS Newsroom, this is BT.